yeah, I just want to thank all of you that is uh, give us the opportunity to share our story, the community led housing in Green City. And so I also very happy that is uh, today, Mr. Hong, uh, the community leader can join us. Uh, Mr. Hong will share with you about the, the issues of the land title and land tenure. And so here you can see that is a, uh, this is uh, the the location of the of the Vinh city in Vietnam, and also the, I would like to say that is uh, the this is a Vinh city become the special city because uh, that is uh, the Ho Chi Minh birthplace, and so you can see in the right side that is the uh, Ho Chi Minh's house. Uh, he was born there, and so in the two thousand nine from the you know under the central central planning system and so that's uh, this uh, special city uh, was a target for the development industrial city and so from the uh, 1970 to 1980 after the war and so a lot of the young worker they arrive here and so the government build the kind of you know temporary house to to for the uh, for their workers and and so this one is a uh, yeah this uh, housing stock is a uh, kind of uh, was a poorly built with the temporary uh, material and with a very small room for the uh, single worker and after 30 years in uh, 2000 2009 when we start the project and so it's uh, almost almost uh, this uh, the uh, collective uh, housing already kind of run down uh, but the family living inside is still about, you know, kind of two, three generations share the, the same room. And so here you can see that is uh, in the 2009, that's uh, the situation of the own collective housing uh, in, in, in Ving. This uh, you can see that is uh, uh, still 142, that's a row house, and about 15 is about this uh, um, kind of high rise slum and the uh, city government uh, consider as the slum the problem is that uh, in the 2009 um, the city also uh, get the upgrade the the city class become the first class and become the first class it means that is that they also the government want to push the city to be more modernization uh, kind of larger road mm -hmm. and uh, higher mm -hmm. building, etc. And so, and all of this uh, kind mm -hmm. of the collect own collective housing mm -hmm. would be the target uh, to mm -hmm. demolish. And so, uh, that that's uh, some photo to show you about the situation of the collective housing uh, um, adopted 2009, and even now it's uh, still in being uh, some of some of them. And so here is uh, the, some photo about the Hyungi. Hyungi, that's uh, in Vietnamese, but in the uh, in English is the friendship, uh, collective housing uh, before the, the project. Is uh, the, you can see that is a public well. Here is uh, the public uh, toilet. And so the house is a very small and uh, kind of cramping space for living. Here is uh, the I show you the, the photo that's uh, remind me a lot of, you know, this is the first uh, citywide meeting for the participatory blending and community-based housing construction, uh, only three days in Vinh City. In this, uh, the, the kind of the first citywide meeting, we have uh, the Thai community leader and young architect from Kodi come. And so this is the first time we invite that the hundreds of the community represent, uh, representative community leader of the collective housing in own in own uh, in the larger scale in the uh, 142 collective housing area yeah come and uh, the first time the government open and share the information about the, their kind of uh, what they call that is uh, uh, eradication uh, 142 this uh, collective housing. Also, that is uh, in the second day, we also invite uh, some community leader from the other city in Vietnam to share about uh, how they, they they help each other, how they save the money to kind of upgrade their housing in, in 
Quy Nhơn and in Việt Trì. And so this is the first time that is a, the really open di uh, dialogue uh, for the different level of the community and local authority and technical office. And here in this meeting, this is the first time Mr. Hong, the community leader, he brought up uh, the situation uh, housing needs in, 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 in his community. And so uh, in the, yeah, just uh, two months later, we continue to use a kind of, you know, the net community network the National Community Network, that is uh, the two city from the VG uh, and Vinh, they meet each other and they work with the help from the, the what, with the technical support from the Kodi uh, Thai architect. And so we work in, in VG uh, again. And so in this, in this uh, the kind of the community training uh, for the housing design. And so the, the community, this, the first time discussed about the uh, community planning and, ho uh, and housing design. In the April 2009, the first time also that two group of the, from the two cities in Vietnam, that in Viet Chi and Vinh, they, they came to visit the Thailand and they also uh, visit uh, some community activity, community project uh, in uh, support by Kodi. And so, uh, at that moment, the ACA program, uh, maybe you already hear about the ACA program under the ACHR coordinated from the 2009 to 2014. And so at that uh, uh, moment is also that's the first round, the ACA meeting come together. And so the community proposal can submit in, in this meeting. And so, and then the, the own together, the community leader and NGO, sit together and decide uh, and approve the community proposal. And so the two, these are two first community housing project in Vietnam, include the Vinh, uh, yeah, got the approval from the, this meeting. That is the April in 2009. And come back from the Thailand and Mr. Hong joined the, the, the study tour in Thailand in the April 2009. And so come back, uh, I remember that, it, uh, yeah, uh, he joined that um, uh, study tour and he already promised the, to Samsuk, uh, Hung Samsuk say that, okay, I, yeah, this time I will come back and I will definitely, I will do the project, the housing project in my community. I will do it successfully. And so, and then uh, the saving group. And so I think that is a, yeah, that this is the first time because of community saving uh, movement in, in, in Ving is a very, very strong, but that's uh, under the kind of manage and coordinate by the women union of the city. And, but they, they only focus in the kind of income generation, economic activity, but not yet the uh, link with to solve the problem with the land and housing. And so from the this uh, project, and so the saving member, they start the uh, save for their housing and start the discussion, start the, the discuss and also that is a, a participate in the housing design, community planning, etc. You can see that is a, and then the land breaking ceremony start in the March of the 2010, uh, but, uh, and only it took about six months. Um, they, the community uh, demolish, demolish the own house, uh, prepare the ground and construct the new house from the top to the bottom only in six months. And so the, in the World Habitat Day in the 2010, project is uh, celebrate uh, together with the, with the city and the provincial official, yeah, and other community leader from Thailand, Com Cambodia, and Laos, and for the new housing. About the how project was financed, and so this uh, project is a very uh, the the amount of money is a very humble. Uh, the way of the uh, give the provide the money is a very simple and direct to the hand of the poor community. And so ACHR and ACA granted to the city CDF uh, $40,000. And so the city CDF give the loan to the family, to the community uh, with the very small amount, the one, 
1,200 the US per family. And the loan interest is the 0.7 per month. And the long term is the five year. All of the, the repayment is already completed uh, 100%. You can see this uh, table in the SHR website. We compare uh, between the conventional top down housing project with the community led project. And so you can see that is a, not only that is a reduce the number of eviction, but also that is a reduce the cost for the square meter if they build by the community. And so this is the housing project is a, not only, only one project in VIN, and we try to push for the community network. This is a more than the uh, more than one kind of the community network. They go together, they, they learn and, 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 and share the experience. And so to be honest, that is not all the, this, the, the, the community finally, they get successful to, 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 to finish and complete it because the complicated of the land and the land issues. Okay. The impact, I would like to say that is a, uh, at the national level. And so this uh, the thing is this uh, housing project is uh, the uh, one uh, project under the ACVN. ACVN is uh, the Association of the City of Vietnam. And so who is uh, also uh, cooperating with the ACHR and set up the national network of the community development fund. And so up to the 2019, and so there is uh, the 30 city and town in, in Vietnam, join the community development fund network. And also that is a, among the community network, the national community network, Vinh is a leading CDF city. And so you can see that is a, in 2019, we also already have the kind of the kind of study to review about the CDF city in Vietnam. And so we can see that is a Vinh on way, the kind of the top, uh, the leading. Uh, with the saving group, with the uh, community-led infrastructure upgrading, and also the community-led housing project. I would like to, to, to invite uh, Mr. Hong. Vietnam is a socialist country, and the land, with what you say, that is that the land belongs to the people, but managed by the government. And so it takes a very long time for Mr. Hong and uh, in the friendship community in the in Ving can negotiate to get their own land uh, title. And so please, um, uh, yeah, listen to Mr. Uh, Hùng. À, vâng. Thì, uh, sau khi hoàn thành công trình thì uh, được nhà nước uh, cấp giấy chứng nhận quyền sử đất rồi uh, trong thời gian như vậy là 10 năm này. It takes uh, about 10 years uh, from the 2000, uh, you can see the 2010, uh, they finished the complete the housing project, but it takes uh, them for 10 years to get the now uh, the land title. Uh, xin cảm ơn cô. Xin cảm yeah. ơn mọi người. Để biết đến Thank Vinh. you very much. Chúc sức khỏe tất cả mọi người. And we wish that you have a best uh, health and uh, the successful meeting. Mời mọi người có dịp cho đến uh, thăm thành phố Vinh của chúng tôi. Yeah, we would like to invite all of you if you have opportunity to be, to, to come and visit our Ving City and our community. All right, it's noted. We uh, yeah, it would be lovely, lovely to see this in person. Uh, I wanted Hi. to to ask one to uh, our friend from Vietnam about um, the knowledge transfer from Thailand to Vietnam because I understand there were some uh, visits at the beginning of the Ving process to Thailand. Uh, how was this and, and was this articulated within the Asian Coalition for Housing Rights? The, the role of the ACHR uh, with the, the regional network uh, is, is a very important uh, for us because that, um, yeah, in Vietnamese uh, a proverb, we often say that is, uh, uh, we don't listen to the parents but somehow we listen better to the to the uncle or the you know the people from outside, <laughs> something like that. And uh, and so yeah, yeah. Of course, the ACHR very often also bring the some some other 
the you know the um, the leader of the city in other Asian city come, and so they share about the, how they support the uh, the people process uh, in their country in their city, and so it kind of you know more uh, convince the, the the city government. Yeah, and they 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 start uh, you know support the city process. The people they are very active, especially the in the community, the poor community. We just uh, kind of give them the kind of the the power and the small amount of money. Do what they what they need, what they 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 plan, and so the project yeah go directly. But uh, many NGO, we often work with the uh, project by project. And so, yeah, of course, that is, uh, after the uh, project finish, the uh, people pay back the loan and finish. The, the housing already completed, finish. And so uh, in our process, we, uh, we not only build the house, build the road, but we build the community. And so after the project finish and the, the, the community themselves, they start, you know, doing uh, other activity. And uh, so I think that is uh, in, in the visit, uh, the study tour, uh, we bring the community leader from the different city in Vietnam to visit the Kodi or visit the, the community uh, in Thailand. And we learn that, we learn that is a, uh, when we project, we talk about the housing, we talk about the slum upgrading, but not only the slum upgrading, not only the housing, that's a community, community network. Yeah, that's a, the, yeah, I think that is a, that's a, the, the, the impact of the, the regional network, community network, uh, we learn from, from the, the whole process. Yes, just Thank to you. add. Uh, thank you, Minjo. And just to add with Minjo, like when Jinaida started, we also had visited like ACHR uh, and can facilitate it. So it's quite important for people to see, actually see like what's happening uh, somewhere else. So the community people from Jinaida, they went to Sri Lanka uh, to know about this from the women's savings group. So ACHR facilitated this. So I, I think in our process, it's very much important like the horizontal sharing how community is learning from the community because they have the common language which the professionals might not understand the experts we do not understand that and they see and immediately they can actually do that even within the country when Bangladesh Jinaida has this example many people came and from these communities many leaders actually went to another community and they talked and I don't know, magic happened, you know, like the other communities, they got very encouraged and they started doing it immediately. And we were trying to make them understand, but it didn't work. So this is one powerful thing like ACHR and CAN has been doing like the horizontal uh, sharing. And I completely agree with Min Chao. It's, it's, it's not a project, it should be a process. And it's, it's not just the housing. Housing is just a tool because we are architects. That's why if I was a doctor, I would have done something else. So since we were architect, we know how to do it. It has happened, but many things can happen. And when we go back to the old community and we see people are not sitting there, they, they got that encouragement and they are rolling it around. You know? so, yeah. Thank you, Sueli. No, that, that, that was, that was, that's a perfect uh, observation and description of the, the power of, of, of the work uh, the, of community-led housing uh, activists and, and leaders. And, and, it, you know, and it's like sessions like this that we can, we can share with one another all of the, you know, the, the positive impacts and the, and the successes and, and, and spread the word more widely.